It's noisy in the workshop. Machines are manufacturing Kevlar, a heavy-duty synthetic fiber. It is used widely in the production of body armor and helmets. It is called Voron. We use a set of 545 threads. This is a weaving machine made in Germany. Yuri has been working here for more than six years. He says his friends are serving on the front line, and he helps them in the rear. We try our best for our soldiers. They are there on the front line, and we run on full steam here. This production center uses German, Japanese, and American raw materials. Everything is automated. One worker and a foreman manage to maintain dozens of machines during the shift. These are some of the best weaving machines in the world. This is a German high-strength thread, which can withstand bullets. It cannot be broken, and nothing can be done with it. This is the workshop where they assemble ballistic vests and helmets. There are rows of Kevlar blanks and protective elements which need to be stitched. Well, it's a groin protector. The covers are white. Here are colors, backs, shoulder pads. We assemble a bulletproof vest, insert the plate, Kevlar and Isolon. During the day, a workshop employee can assemble up to 50 ballistic vests. This is an element of body armor, just the part that protects the neck. It's hard work. Here, feel how solid the fabric is, and it should be pushed into the openings. The quality of body armor is checked in three stages. The first is laboratory testing of the raw materials, then a check of the finished product. After the conclusion, the quality control of the entire batch. Here are a thousand armored vests. Each pack consists of 100 pieces with an individual number. We conduct random inspections. The body armor is unpacked, then the technical passport, batch and product numbers are checked. The plate is also marked. For example, batch number 18, item number 342. Everything is correct. They put a seal on the body armor. Then it is transferred in a separate spot on the bus to the laboratory in Kyiv for ballistic tests. Here the product is disassembled into two parts. One is checked in dry conditions, the second check is when it is wet. To do this they use sprinklers. Current technical specifications do not require this. However, it is important to check the body armor in all conditions. Right after that it is fired at using three types of weapons. The test results will be known later. The Ministry of Defense is already talking about the development of a new heavy-duty body armor. We are now actively developing new body armor and they will be introduced with all necessary requirements for which they will be checked. Previously, this was hampered by the old system of Soviet standards and technical conditions. However, these will be changed by the end of summer. Reported by Olha Volinets for UATV.